All right then, gang, so we've pretty much reached the end of this project. We have a fully working Mern application. Now, React on the front end, Express and Node in the middle, and then a MongoDB database at the back. So all of this is working, but there's a couple of things I kind of want to finish up. First of all, I want to make this delete button look a little nicer. So we're going to use some kind of trash can icon for that using Google icons. And then this date time string thing over here looks terrible as well. So we're going to format that using a package called date FNS. All right then, so the first thing I want to do is make a trash can icon right here instead of it just saying delete. Now to do that, we'll be using material icons from the Google fonts library. So I'm going to go into the public folder, then open up index.html. And what we need to do is basically paste in here a link to that font library. So I've just copied that already and I've pasted this in, but you can find it by just Googling uh, material symbols outlined or whatever in Google, and then you'll get this link right here. So that gives us the icons. All we have to do now is apply a certain class to whatever we want to have an icon. So if we go back over here, it's this thing right here that we need to give a class to. So I'll say class name is equal to something. And the class we need to give this is material symbols and then hyphen outlined because that's the library that we've linked to right here. Material symbols outlined. All right. So that's the first step. The second step is to use a specific keyword within the tag and that keyword will be translated into a specific icon. Now it just so happens to be that the delete keyword is a trash can icon, so we don't need to change this, but you can replace this with other things instead to get things like arrows or hearts or whatever you want, but we're gonna keep it as delete. So I'm gonna save that now so we can preview it. Okay, and that's looking a lot nicer now. So the functionality of this doesn't change. We've just made an icon instead of the word delete. So I can show you that if I try to delete one of these, it goes, everything still works the same way. So that's the first thing completed. The second thing we wanted to do is format this date so it looks a bit nicer. And to do that, we'll be using a package called date FNS. So this is a package we can install into our project using NPM, and it gives us basically a load of functions to format dates and times differently. So we can have our date display something like this three days ago or something like this. So let's go back to our code now and try to install this. All right then, so let's open up a terminal and I'm gonna just open up a new terminal over here so we don't need to cancel out of the process. In fact, we will, we'll cancel out of the process. So control C and yes, and then we'll install the package. So npm install and it's date hyphen FNS like so. So press enter to install that. All right, so while that's going on, we can import a function from that library at the top. So let me just do a little comment to say date FNS right here, and I'm gonna paste in this import. So we're using a function called format distance to now, and that comes from date hyphen FNS forward slash format distance to now. So now all we need to do is use that function down here to format this date. So the way we do that is, let me just cut that, and we're gonna use that function format distance to now, and then this is a function that we have to invoke. Now it takes in an argument which is a date object so we'll say new date and the date that we want to pass into this is going to be the created at date now it also takes a second argument which is an options object and this is to add a suffix so we say add suffix and that's going to be true so if for example and um, we added the workout two days ago, then without this, it would just say two days. But with this, it would say two days ago. All right, so that's the suffix. So now let's make sure this is installed correctly. Yep, okay. So now we're just gonna run this again by saying npm start. And hopefully it should all start up. Yep, it does. We do get a couple of warnings right here, which I'm gonna come back to in a second, but let's just preview this in a browser first of all. All right then, my friends, so that there looks a lot better. Cool. So let me just go back to those warnings we saw in the console, and we'll try and get rid of those before we finish up. All right, so it says down here we have a warning, and this is in the homepage, so let's open that up. And it says 
The React Hook Use Effect has a missing dependency, Dispatch. Okay, yeah. So since inside this Use Effect Hook, we use the Dispatch function, this is kind of an external function that's not defined anywhere inside Use Effect. And when we use those external functions or dependencies, if you like, then we have to declare them in this dependency array. So let's do that dispatch and basically that means whenever the dispatch function changes in any way shape or form then it's going to rerun this use effect function now that's not really going to happen to us but we have to put it in there in the dependency array nonetheless and if we save this now and open up the terminal we can see that that error's gone away i am going to try this once more in the browser to make sure everything still works okay so looking good over here i'm going to open up the console to make sure there's no errors in the console no there's not I'll try adding a new workout, sit-ups, yep, that works. And if I delete one as well, that works as well. So this now is all working, awesome. All right then, my friends, so that is the Mern app pretty much done. So hopefully now you've got a better understanding of how all of these different technologies work together. We have our React app on the front end. We have Node and Express to make an API for the back end, and that also communicates with a database to fetch or update or delete data. And that's pretty much done. Now, I did say at the very start of this course that I was gonna add authentication to this project, and we are gonna do that, but that's gonna come in the very next series I'm gonna release very soon. So we're gonna add authentication to this same application so users can sign up, log in, and log out. And when they do log in, they're gonna be able to track their very own workout exercises, and they don't see other people's as well. So everyone has their own unique data stored in the database. So stay tuned for that one coming very soon. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one